Good evening, everyone. And thank you for joining us here tonight. Late last week, we suffered a terrible tragedy with the passing of Blue Jackets forward Johnny Gaudreau and his brother, best friend, and former Boston College teammate, Matthew. Tonight, we gather together to remember these two remarkable young men. At this time, I would like to introduce Blue Jackets President of Hockey Operations and General Manager, Don Waddell. Thanks, Don. I would like to thank all of you for being here tonight for this remarkable outpouring of love and support. You have shown for the Goudreau family and our Blue Jackets family since the loss of Johnny and Matthew. I know this has been a great comfort to everyone who knew and loved him. This is obviously a very difficult time for all of us, each one of you included. We have a special group of people in this organization, a special group of players, and along with you, we will get through this together. Thank you. Please welcome the captain of your Columbus Blue Jackets, Boone Jenner. I just want to thank you all for gathering here tonight to grieve this tragic loss of our teammate, John Gaudreau, and his brother, Matty Gaudreau. John was, just, or was more than just a teammate. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a son, and a brother. As we all got to witness, he was an amazing hockey player that played with, played with such passion and joy every time he took the ice. He carried that same joy off the ice. He was such a fun guy to be around. He had that smile that could always cheer you up no matter what. He was the happiest with his wife, Mare, and two kids, Noah and Johnny. His family meant everything to him. We are so blessed to have known him and will, remember the, or, and will always remember the man he was. It's nearly impossible to find the words that truly describe how deeply we will miss Johnny and Maddie. This is a heartbreak that words alone cannot heal. That said, the support from you guys, for us as a team, and most importantly, the Gaudreau family, has been incredible to see. And we're so happy and proud to be part of this community. As we continue to grieve together, let's continue sharing our incredible memories of John and Maddie. Let us keep their stories alive, hold them in our thoughts, and keep them in our prayers. Nothing will fill the void in our hearts, but through our remembrance, we can find the strength to get this through this difficult time together. The Good Joe family will always be a part of our family. Thank you again for being here and standing together for the Good Joes. Rest easy, John and Maddie. Next is defenseman Eric Branson. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for being here. It uh, means the world to, to our dressing room that you guys are not only standing by us in tough times and hockey seasons, but when it matters most. Um, our hearts are shattered in a million pieces. There's no doubt about that. Johnny was uh, an amazing teammate, an amazing friend. Uh, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a, a bird's eye view of what, what it was like to, to watch John walk into the room. Um, we had to be in, a, in our shorts and ready for a coach's meeting at five o'clock. He'd walk in at 4.59 and a half. And guys would be sweating for him and he'd walk in dragging his heels just perfectly on time not sweating it at all right after games I'd have my left skate still on and he'd be walking out in his suit and it, it got to thinking that you know we try so hard and, and work so hard to be professional and they're on time and 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 prepared and whatnot and it always made it's made me wonder 
since Maddie and Johnny have passed that whether he had it right and, and we didn't. Um, that entire time that he was away from the rink, he was sitting on the couch with Meredith and his children, being the best possible father he could be, um, son, brother. He truly was. Um, I was fortunate to sit in on a few family dinners of his, and they were special. Uh, another time last year, all the, our equipment staff were really losing their minds the day before training camp because John used the same skates for two years, and uh, he showed up with a skate with no uh, toe cap on it, and they couldn't fix it. drying his gear in the driveway and he ran it over with his Escalade. Uh, yeah, and, and on a personal note, something that I'll, I'll uh, who very dearly miss, I had this little thing with John where I'd, I'd pick him up and give him a bear hug. And I, uh, I, I wouldn't let him down until he told me he loved me. And he wouldn't tell me for a long time. But I, I, I know up here today that it was because he enjoyed the hugs. And um, it's just, we just miss him so much. It's, it's wrong. And I, I urge you, please, 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 and I beg you, having fun is one thing, but please find a ride home. There's no reason for a tragedy like this. There's so many options available to you. Just please, please, please find an alternative way home. Thank you. Next is Blue Jackets forward Cole Sillinger. Thank you to all you guys for coming honoring Johnny and Maddie tonight. Growing up, I was an Edmonton fan. When Johnny came into the NHL, I became an Oiler Goudreau fan, which is uh, pretty oxymoronic. My brothers and I played a lot of pond hockey in Saskatchewan. Quite often, we'd be pretending to be number 13 for the Calgary Flames. So comforting to be around, so easy to be around. He always reminded me to never sweat the small stuff without actually telling me that, you know? It's my second season in the NHL, Johnny's first, Blue Jackets. We were in Ottawa, and I'm coming down for pregame snack, I, you know, ready to get a coffee, got my headphones in, and, you know, ready to get ramped up for the game. And, only one person uh, is in the meal room at the time, and it's Johnny. He's on his phone, just kind of hanging. He's got a bowl of Fruit Loops. No worries in the world. Super authentic. He was one of a kind. He was a great role model. And yeah, Johnny, you're a great person too. I'm honored to call Johnny a great teammate and a great friend. Love you, man. Thank you to all of you guys for getting up and, and talking. And there are so many stories over there. And we all had a special relationship with Johnny Goudreau, whether it was a teammate, whether it was somebody that you worked around every day, or whether it was just you watching from afar and watching the excitement that he brought to this building and to this team and to this franchise. Right now, we would like you to light your candles. We will have some people going around and lighting some candles. We ask that you go ahead and pass that light along until we have all of those candles lit here tonight. And if you didn't get a candle, or if you're not with us here tonight, and you're at home or wherever you are, if you want to take part, just go to the Blue Jackets app, and there is a virtual candle on the Blue Jackets app, and we want you to be a part of this celebration of life with us here tonight.
So now we are going to begin 13 minutes in 21 seconds of reflection in memory of Johnny and Matthew Gaudreau during this time of reflection. For those of you here in the plaza, there will be a video running on ADTV for you to watch as we reflect.
John and Matthew Gaudreau, brothers, best friends, and two great human beings taken from us way too soon. To close things out, here is John H. McConnell II. On behalf of my family, our ownership group, I'd like to thank everyone for being here tonight. I'd also like to thank our amazing fans and everyone who reached out to support the Goudreau family, our team, the Calgary Flames, and all those who are grieving during this difficult time. The response from our city, our hockey community, and beyond has been incredible. It is a testament to the character of both John and Matthew and the many, many lives they touched. As we leave here tonight, I ask you to continue to keep the Goudreau families in your prayers. Thank you again for joining us.